Hi, my name is Dave Camelo. I'm a Big Fix technical advisor based in the Chicago area. I've been working with Big Fix for about 10 years now. If you'd like to connect with me on LinkedIn, you can scan the QR code on the screen. In a recent set of videos, Ben Dixon walked through how to install the Big Fix server on Windows. In this set of two videos, we're going to focus on how the Big Fix server can be installed on RHEL 7 with DB2. This first video will discuss the OS configurations and some of the Big Fix platform requirements uh, to be aware of. The second video will demonstrate the installation of the Big Fix server, including installing DB2 as part of the process. Let's start with the online documentation for Big Fix 10, which can be found here under support.bigfix.com. Navigate into release 10, go into the platform, go down to the installation guide and start under requirements and assumptions with the server requirements. This will list the basic information you need to know about um, the RHEL image that you'll need to configure. Also further down are the installation instructions for installing on Linux. Um, it includes a separate section for installing DB2, but we're actually going to do that as part of the platform install in the next video. Also, the capacity planning guide is, is found in support.bigfix.com right here. When you click on it, it uh, brings up a menu and you can open a capacity guide and then it will bring up a PDF. Scroll down to the table of contents and select the entry for root server right here. And further down in this section is a table that describes your hardware requirements based on the number of agents that you plan on uh, deploying or managing with a platform. This table is the same regardless of whether your uh, Big Fix server is installed on Windows or Linux. Now let's talk a little bit about the OS and uh, DB2 requirements for the Linux server we'll be using here. For Big Fix 10, the Big Fix server will only install in RHEL 7.6 or above using DB2 11.5. No special Linux server options need to be installed. A base installation of Linux will do just fine. If you plan on installing DB2 separately in advance of installing Big Fix, I'd recommend installing the server with GUI environment, or at least make sure that X11 is installed and you have X Windows forwarding configured. This is because the standalone DB2 installer uses a GUI. The Big Fix server installer is text-based, so no GUI required environment is required for that. When you build the OS, you want to give some consideration to your disk partition and file system layout. Uh, Big Fix on Linux uses a few different directories, unlike Windows, where everything is under Program Files x86 Big Fix Enterprise. In the case of Linux, there are a couple of different directories that are used. Uh, Opt by itself has directories for best server and best client, and that's where the binaries get kept. Um, both of those directories are static and fairly small, so it's okay to keep it just under the generic opt file system. Var opt is where the majority of the workspace is kept. So there is a subdirectory for best server and a subdirectory for best client. So that needs the most space because that's where the majority of the content is going to be stored. So it's best to put var opt on a separate file system away or outside of var. Uh, finally, a third directory is under Etsy opt, and there is a subdirectory for best server and a subdirectory for best client. Each one of those holds a single file, the action site.afxm, which is the main configuration file uh, for the Big Fix platform. Additionally, the Big Fix server on RHEL requires an installation of DB2 for the database. Note that if you choose, you can install DB2 on a separate machine and run the database there. If you do this, you'll need to make sure that you install a DB2 client on the Big Fix server. For the sake of these videos, I'll be installing DB2 11.5 on the same server that I'm putting uh, the Big Fix platform on. DB2 by default writes the database to the home directory of the configured DB2 user, which is DB2 inst1 by default. All of this is configurable, so if you need or require a different configuration, you can adjust everything accordingly. But for these exercises, I'll be taking all the defaults, unless otherwise noted. So the database goes into a subdirectory structure under home db2 inst1. As such, I built my file system layout to look like this. 
where I've got separate file systems for home, for opt, and for var opt. To install the Big Fix server, you'll need the Big Fix platform installer, and I'll show you in the next video how to download that file or where to download it from. You also need what's called a license authorization file, which you can get from the Big Fix License Key Center. Dan Paquette has covered how to access the License Key Center in another Tech Advisor video called Allocating Big Fix Licenses via the License Key Portal. Starting at about the eight minute mark in that video, he goes over how to create a license authorization file for use in installing BigFix. Once you have your license authorization file, put it somewhere easily accessible on the Linux server. We will be using that at the beginning of the installation process. That's it for the preparations. In the next video, we'll walk through the installation process in real time. Until then, here are some QR codes that will take you to various BigFix resources on the web. The QR code right above my name links to my email, so if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Thanks, and have a great day.